Welcome to part 10 of the Fractal for Beginners series. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Per Preset Performance page. Last week, we looked at the Global Performance Command page, which gives you up to 10 functions for the five A, B, C, D, E knobs for every preset. But what if 10 knob functions just isn't enough? Well, that's where the Per Preset Performance page comes in. Now, once again, this is applicable across all three units, but we're going to use the FM9 again. Like I said last week, our fractal modelers have two performance pages, the global performance control page and the per preset control page. The global performance control page gives us up to 10 knob functions that can be used with every preset. That's why they're called global. The factory default settings use basic amp controls, bass, mid, treble, depth, presence, drive, master, and level. This leaves two knob functions available for us to add, and we saw how to add the delay mix and the reverb mix to those remaining two slots last week. So for the most part, that covers the front panel controls of an amp. If that's all you need to adjust, then you're done. But what if you have presets with other effect blocks, like drive, flanger, and phaser? You'd like to be able to adjust those too, am I right? Well, you could adjust the global page to include some of these functions, like taking the drive block here and putting it over here. But then you'd have to do away with some of the amp knob functions. Besides, you only use a couple presets with these other effects, so you don't want to give up the amp functions for just a couple presets. Here is where we turn to the per preset performance page. Getting to the per preset performance page from the front panel is easy. Press home, then press the page right button once. This page will stay parked on the screen until you manually change to another page, so you can change presets or scenes and still have your per preset performance page options ready to use. Now just like the global performance control page, you use the ABCDE knobs to make the changes. You use the nav up and down buttons to decide which row you want to use. You use the page right and page left button to go between the global and per preset functions. Now I'm pretty sure that all of the factory presets already have per preset performance pages set up. So you can look at them to get an idea of how to use the per preset performance page with non-factory presets. Now I'm going to adjust the instructions from the manual to highlight the per preset performance page. In FM9 edit, load factory preset 170, dual amp dual delay. Once this preset loads, click on the amp 2 block to select it in the grid. Now switch to the performance page editor in FM9 Edit by clicking the perform button above the grid. Looking at the per preset performance controls, you can see that right now it is only populated with two knob functions, delay master feedback and delay mix. Let's add some knob functions from the amp 2 block. Drag and drop the gain parameter to an empty slot. Since we're editing the per preset performance page, you must save the preset to commit your changes but you don't have to do that until you've made all of your changes. So let's add the level parameter, the bass, treble, and high cut parameters. Now just like on the global side, you can also use drag and drop to rearrange controls on performance pages. Drop one control onto another to swap them. To remove a control, Click it and then press delete slash backspace on your keyboard. You can change the two line label for any control by double clicking on the existing name. Type your desired text and then press enter slash return on your keyboard to confirm. Test this by changing the first line of the amp to gain from gain with lowercase to all uppercase gain, which is easier to read on stage. Now you would save the preset. That's right, the per preset controls get saved with the preset. If you forget to press save and then switch to another preset or turn off your modeler, you would lose all of your changes. Since the global knob functions work with every preset, you don't have to save them. That is really the only difference between the two performance pages. Well, Fractal says that we've reached the end of this tutorial. Now go test it out. Now, just in case you didn't hear my prior announcement, we are having a 2,000 subscriber giveaway contest. All I'm asking for is thoughts or suggestions on videos that you'd like to see me do in the upcoming year. Now, I will take your name and put it in a hat. And on March 8th, I'll have my wife pull a name out of the hat. If your name is drawn and you live in the lower 48 states, 
you are the winner of a Rimrock FX Mythical Overdrive. It's that simple. Now, you don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next week.